Welcome all to Chapter 5, where we'll be looking at areas of geometric regions. All right, in Section 5.1 through 5.3, you will learn how to find the area. And then in 5.4, we'll do an application. Once we're done with that, in 5.5, we'll be seeing one last example, um, which is interesting just because of how classic it is. But really, the goal is to show you why we need to learn how to integrate um, a special type of functions. And that's going to introduce the next topic of Chapter 6. All right, so let's start. Our goal is to use area to find geometric regions. So in this section, 5.1, we'll use a definite integral to compute the area of the region R bounded by different curves, right? So for example, we could have y equals f of x, and we could have y equals g of x. All right, so in chapter four, we use rectangles to approximate uh, the area of the region between the x-axis. So in this case, the bottom curve was pretty simple. It's just y equals zero and a curve y equals f of x, as in the following figure. All right, so we'll repeat the same process, but for more complicated regions now. Just like I said above, we'll have two different curves like this. And I'm going to assume that this point is at x equals a, and this point is at x equals b, and then some value of y. All right, so to find it, um, to find this area, here's what you should do. You consider the region bounded between y equals f of x and y equals g of x from x equals a and x equals b. If f is bigger, if f is higher over the whole interval a, b, then the area of the region r, so this is r, the area is going to be the integral from a to b of the bigger function minus the smaller one. All right, let's try an example. So in example 5.1.1, I want to find the area of the region enclosed by the curve y equals x squared and y equals root of x. Um, for these problems, I'm always going to ask you to give me a sketch of the region. OK, so let's start. In this case, I expect that you know how to graph them, but later on, I'll show you what to do if you don't actually know what the graph is like. All right, so here's y equals x squared, and then we'll have y equals root of x. All right, so the region I'm asking for is this one right here. And that will be the region whose area we're after. So over that region, f, which has to be the bigger one, is going to be the green curve. And then the smaller one is going to be x squared. I need to find what the values of x are at the two endpoints. So those, in this case, are going to be intersection points. I need to find when these two curves intersect. Right, so I need x squared to be equal to root of x. Um, to solve this, I'm going to square both sides to get rid of the square root. I'm going to get x squared, x to the 4. Um, I'm going to get x to the 4 is equal to x. And now I'm going to set it all to one side. And I'm going to start factoring. I get x cubed minus 1. And then if you remember how to factor this, it's a difference of cubes. And so you get something like that. Um, this has no 0, so I'm left with two points, which I could see from the graph. I'm left with x equals 0 and x equals 1. So this is at 0, this is at 1. 
All right, so that's going to be your A. That's the smallest X value that touches your region, and that will be the B. That's the biggest one, right? So we found B, we found A, we found the top, we found the bottom. So now we're ready to write this out and to compute the area, right? So the area is equal to the integral from A to B, F of X minus G of X. So that's the integral from 0 to 1. F, we said, was the root. And G is X squared. So I get X to the 3 halves over 3 halves minus X cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. So that's 2 thirds minus 1 thirds when I plug in 1. When I plug in 0, I get 0 minus 0. So this region is area one third. Good. All right. So we have the area. And so here's how I will phrase it. The area of a region bounded by the curve y equals f of x and y equals g of x between x equals a and x equals b. Um, I don't want to use f and g for every single example. It gets confusing. So the way I'll write it, I'll write that the area is the integral from a to b of top. That means the function that's on top of the region minus the function that's underneath under the region. All right, good. In the next video, we'll see where that formula comes from.